You have a mask? If you don't, I have one for you. I mean, we, we take it in baby steps. Um, we like I said, we have an open seating policy. We're not doing tableside service, which is hard for us because we're all we're servants and we enjoy that. But we don't have the same interaction as we normally would have with our customers. Um, but the I mean, we're we're just doing what we can to stay open. I think we've adjusted very very well. Um, we were able to t we we already had uh, the business model that we had. We already had to go items. We didn't have to recreate that. We already had outdoor seating. We didn't have to recreate that. We had to change some of our packaging a little bit, but we didn't have to recreate a lot. So. Our sustainability is a lot based on the support that we're getting from the community and from people that have been around at least our food and our, our product for so long. Um, I think we can sustain it as long as we're, we're doing everything we can to maintain our compliancy. We're, and rules change almost every day right now. So as long as we can stay compliant and the support that we're getting in the community is helping us stay compliant, then I think we can keep doing what we're doing. That's, that's the hope at least, is we can just keep doing what we're doing and they let us keep doing it. I'm um, a, a woman business owner. I'm the sole owner. I have no business partners. I have one establishment. I'm scrambling to try to find ways that I can accommodate the outdoor seating. So I think they sent the email like at 7 p.m., but I didn't, you know, I didn't check my email, but it was from the Placer County Health Department saying, okay, um, as of midnight, your indoor dining is closed. And so I was scrambling, you know, I was up at 4 a.m. trying to figure out a way to get tables. As you see, I have tables on the sidewalk <laughs> out front, you know, and now I'm trying to put some in the back just to find a way so that I can maintain my business. And I applied for the, uh, the Paycheck uh, Protection Program. And, you know, then that was a little concerning to me also because I was really happy. I brought all my staff back. We just got to the flow where everyone was coming back and um, and now I'm probably going to have to lay them off again because if I have to a transition to this takeout and outdoor dining for the next three weeks, then I'm losing revenue. So even with that money, it's not going to be enough to carry me all the way through until when, you know, the hope is that things will return to normal, but, you know, um, I'm just not sure. Business has been here for 30 years, so um, this has been the probably the roughest patch that we've hit, so, um, so I'm just hoping that we could make it through.